Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you how to use on iWatch 6 ECG app. Okay, so you start the watch, you press the side, and then you find the ECG, this is a sign, this one, you press on it once, tap it, and then you'll see a heart. Once you see the heart, you push on the heart, and hold it for 30 seconds and don't move your arms. Okay. And then you will be able to see the result. This EKG does not show a sign of atrial fibrillation. So then you can enter your symptoms if you want, or you can click done. You'll also get a notification on your iPhone, the result, okay? how to use uh, oxygen meter on uh, iWatch 6 and uh, what you do you press the side crown and then you find your app which already set up on my watch you click on it and you will see the last reading and then you just wait for 15 seconds and try not to move All right, my oxygen is 99%, so I click done. And now you will be able to see what the last reading was on the, on the bottom. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. And I will also do some blood oxygen reading test versus to the one you re check on your finger. Okay. Today I want to talk to you about iWatch oxygen, like a blood reader, like they call it uh, blood measurement or oxygen reader. Uh, I do have one of the device I measure oxygen for my dad right now. So it would be great uh, to test it out. So with this device, it's pretty simple. You just attach to your finger, like put your finger in, Press the button and it costs around between 10 to 40 bucks. Okay. And it's give you oxygen uh, level uh, in li life. So basically, anytime your oxygen change, it will change the number. Also, it give you blood uh, pulse. So, uh, like, okay. And then um, on the iWatch, so I have 97 right now. Okay, on iWatch, it's um, very simple also. So what you need to do, you need to press on the crown, digital crown on the side, and then select the app and click start. And within 15 seconds, it will give you a result. And very important not to move the hand because Every time I do, out of three time, only one time it's working. So, okay, now it's 96. And let's see what is my oxygen over here, 97. Okay, let's do another test and see if it's gonna be the same accurate, okay? So I'll run one more test. Very important not to move your hands. Hundred percent, okay. And this test will show me. And now uh, with this one, it's very simple. You can move. It will um, basically attach. It's telling me ninety-five. Okay, so let's one more time. I'll do both. 
so you can see it. both numbers so found this oxygen meter I have 97 and I watch will give me in two seconds the result okay 100% so on I watch I get better result right now 100% while on this meter I got 97 and I'm not sure if it's fingers make difference I know it's a different part of the body measure but it's still the same and I would assume it shouldn't make any difference where you measure your blood oxygen but again it might give you a little bit difference only in two to three points difference still very well um, accurate and uh, with this iWatch you will get a notification and you can always check on your health app on your iPhone how uh, your history also with um, this device you can use anywhere with iWatch you have to be sitting like without moving for 15 seconds make sure no noises outside much Ninety-nine percent, and let's see one more time. So we'll do a few tests to see how accurate. Ninety-six. So there is about three to four percent uh, between, I would say, two to four per uh, percent uh, difference accuracy. It's still not bad. For thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like the video, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.